Motion VFX has just released their new MTV3 plugin and that thing is stuff. We're talking about tons of new intros, transitions, titles and effects that every YouTuber needs. There's a link in the description and comment section. You should check it out and it's even on sale until May 16th. This video, however, is not sponsored by Motion VFX or any other person or company. By the way, I just randomly blend in some of those titles and effects so you can get an idea on what's included. So first First of all, go to your effects library in the top left corner of your screen, then go to toolbox, open the drop down, then go to video transitions, open the drop down, motion VFX, and then under MTuber 3, you can find all the five transitions that are included. And those transitions look super great. I mean, they are just drag and drop, they are easy to render, and they look amazing. That's just one of them. Let's preview another one just use this one they are super easy no caching needed just play it back and voila you're done crazy transition that looks like it took you hours to create but it's actually just drag and drop then moving forward under titles you can find motion vfx mtuba 3 and there are a ton then you have the option to choose calls to action this is basically what every YouTuber needs, like subscribe animations, hit the bell animations, like notifications, whatever. And then chapter bars. If you're using chapters, try to use them. They are super great. It's just a basic title that you put on top of your videos. And then voila, you have a chapter section in your videos. But if you don't like the chapters to be visible, at all time, you might not like that folder, but it, they are super easy. Just drag and drop them, increase them in size, and you can see the chapter bar progresses until the end. But then we also do have intros, and those intros are super good. They are just like small branded intros that don't take up like 50 seconds before a video even starts. They are super easy to use, they are super clean. All you gotta do is just drag and drop them, go to the inspector, go to logo controls, and import your custom logo and then move along. Then of course you have the option to choose between different social media icons and one thing that I want to point out is that those social media icons and social media lower thirds are actually in 3D. Under logo controls you have the option to choose between a 2D logo or a 3D logo and as you can see right now this is 3D. Then we have the logo type, let's just quickly switch that to YouTube and voila I have a pretty sweet 3D YouTube lower third that's like crazy. It has never been easier. And then last but not least, we have different effects. Under effects library, you can choose motion VFX and then MTuber 3. And there are all the different stuff. So basically what the corner screens are, if you're doing like a tutorial with a screen recording and you're recording your face, then you can just use those corner screens, drag it on top of your talking head stuff and voila. You don't have to like rearrange the frame and cut it whatever it's just basically set it forget it you're done then under tools we have like different stuff like indicators pointers pulsation effects zoom ins or we have the dashed line select that i can just put on this clip right here and just watch this or let me just that's a bad example counting controls position let's just bring that over so you can just like point out a different area of the screen that the viewer should be focused on and it's like super easy. You can shrink that, you can extend that, you can rotate that, whatever the heck you want. Or let's just delete that plugin. Then we have like a zoom in effect and voila, you just have a simple nice zoom in effect and then at the end of the clip it automatically zooms back out which is just amazing. No keyframing whatsoever. Again, I highly recommend you to check out this plugin. There's a link in the description and the comment section. And if you go to the website, you can get a preview of all the different assets that are included in that pack. So that's a great deal, but I'm done for now. Hope you have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye.